All right. This is a personal reading. You may listen along if you like. Uh, but it is intended for one. And yes, I do readings in certain situations. Like, <laughs> if I see you around my live chat enough and, you know, I've seen Cray Cray, you know, I'll do a reading, okay? Um, so if you catch me in the live, you can ask about that then. Anyways, this one is for Jay who is curious about the future or the crush you've recently been spending time with. So let's start off with some letters. See what's most important to know about the future with that person on your mind. Okay, that was fairly, that was fairly fast. <laughs> um, so this feels a little bit digital the way I'm looking at it, like computer parts or something. But um, geez, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Like, am I missing something? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop there. I mean, it's, it feels like needy <laughs> and producing a code, like a computer that was looking for some type of connection to another program that it thinks it needs, but so it's looking for it while it's spitting out errors and maybe you're just waiting for an application to open up. And it thinks it needs two other applications in order to open up to the first window. 
So it's giving out an emergency error um, or a, gee, I just lost the word, so maybe that ain't it. Um, it's giving out some type of ending error that makes it um, quit before it can even open. If you're a computer nerd, you, you know what I'm trying to say right now with the computer words, but they're all gone in my head right now, which is interesting. So, okay. All right. I'm going to put this behind. And let's see um, what we can learn about your crush and their energy towards you. And so as I understand with what you wrote, you've just started spending time around this person and you'd like to know the future, so what are their thoughts about you at this time, Jay? What are their thoughts about you? So right now, um, they think they see, but okay, so you guys must be in that whole representative phase where you're not really showing 100% of who you are to each other. You're showing the happy, um, everything is all good side of self. There hasn't been a great deal of communication, right? Hasn't been a great deal of communication. And one of you may be coming across as very self-involved, self-focused. Um, and I'm not trying, I'm gonna try my best not to point fingers. But I kind of did, didn't I, with the name of the okay. Anyways, your person may be watching to see how you move at this time. Um, they may believe that you have some options. But they are strengthening themselves up in the experience of connecting with you. There's a little bit of transformation. Um, something about you guys is energetically opposite the yin meets the yang type of energy and that might be why you fit in together very well like pieces of the puzzle All right nonetheless this is a cycle it can be strangers in the night ships passing the the at this time both of you are getting something of value from the connection and we have perception again. You're getting something based on how you see each other. But the time is valuable and intense. Ooh. Okay. They may be learning things about you at this time that they did not know before when they thought they knew who you was, who you is, who you gonna be. They thought they, they thought they might have known. So you may be coming across as interesting and unexpected in certain ways. Ew. Clarify that. They were worried or critical about you in the past. They were, um, they thought they knew what they was looking at and it what maybe Maybe they had already had these, okay, what was the old belief? Okay, before the connection, do not be angry at what I'm about to say. I don't know, let me go and go through these cards one at a time, but don't trip. This was, these are old ideas based on whatever your person went through before you showed up. Before they got into your orbit, and connected with you. They thought that there might be some safety issues. Uh, 
Leo energy. They thought that they would need to maintain their strength with you, that you were a lesson. Strangers in the night kind of data. Thought she was lying, maybe not being 100% honest. Um, thought that you were just interacting or thought that you were just the kind of person who would um, like maybe give them attention based on boredom or, you know, maybe uh, rebound energy. They didn't want to be used that way. So they thought they were just a product of lusty desire in your to. Okay, so it's like your person might have thought that if you took any interest in them in the past, that it was just you know single use furniture data and so there's gemini maybe now they see you you know deeper there's still the lust there though that's very much still there <laughs> very much still there that that energy or desire the energetic desires is, is there but there might be some trust issues Okay, something isn't chugging lugging along. Okay, so also bad communication. Hello, anybody? It feels like there's something that needs to be dealt with or communication that needs to be dealt with. And maybe neither of you know how to approach it. That could be y'all's damage. You, Both of you may have come out of situations or had earlier experiences, haven't we all? of dealing with people who left us worse for the wear with regards to communicating with other people. And the word that was really coming out of my mouth was strangers. You may know how to argue with somebody. You may know how to distance yourself from people who bring fuck shit to you. But expressing yourself on a pure, authentic level to someone who might, who might not give you back that same energy that's a risk. It's a risk that has different emotions to it. It's not like making a bad investment in stock, you know? So that fear of not winning can cloud over everything. It really can. You know what I'm saying? So there's some stall energy going on. Everybody's trying to be upright instead of, okay, I'm going to tell you what pictures I see. JD, I see two people laying on the floor. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything, but listen anyways. I see two people laying on the floor. I see a fireplace. That's nice. That's nice. Fireplace nice. Okay. So I see two people laying near a fireplace, um, but they're on carpet and they're just, like their heads are near each other, but their feet are not, right? And they're just talking. So maybe you guys haven't really had like one of those ridiculously deep, uh, what if C-A-T really spelled dog type of conversations to really pick through each other's ways of thinking and ways of feeling towards each other. There is a test here though. Let's see what that's about. Focused motion. We, both of y'all are difficult. <laughs> both of you are so difficult. We know the number is 86, right? When you cut something out. Um, both of you are kind of difficult. And you're creating the damage together. So, hey, that's cool. You're both wondering, like, what's next? Is there any thing? And in the absence of logic and conversation... What, in the absence of that comes the theater of folly and misunderstood ideas and damage. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a symphony of broken thoughts and illusions and assumptions. And everything is based on stuff y'all went through before. So both of you are getting to a place where you can accept yourselves. And that's and it's difficult to do that and try to conduct a relationship, right? So that requires time 
and limitation that requires growth um, from both sides. Now, can it be done together in a relationship? Yes, I think so. I think so. Uh, but it takes a base. I think I think it takes a thick foundation of friendship and and being okay with being wrong occasionally so that you're not sitting around assuming what your person's thinking or feeling because you don't know if their responses to you come from psychological abuse, physical abuse. I mean, like, you don't know if it came from just not knowing how to communicate. And then you're coming from your angle of, you know, tough things you've gone through. I see childhood. So maybe you went through um, a childhood that included a lot of repressed energy or people telling you to repress your energy. So you don't pour it out as easy. Or maybe you do pour it out and you do it once. And if you don't get exactly that in return, shit falls apart. Whatever it is, both of your blockages can be healed with mastering the self. And both of you are looking for a different kind of freedom, too. But there's so much you're unaware of with, between each other. And it, it it's like, um, damn, okay, the word that came through is battery acid. I wasn't thinking that strong, but okay, that's the only word that... <laughs> That's crazy. So my mind clears and I hear a word or I see a word light up in my head. Okay. And the word that's coming through is battery acid. So I guess we got to go with that. Um, okay. So maybe, you know, bad communication, assumption, assumption, and acting on assumption is like battery acid if you're wrong. And as I say that, Capricorn energy comes out the devil. And when I see an aid in reverse, I think more in the head than actions on the feet. Um, someone's head overthinking for them. And if your head inflated from having thoughts, right? Think about thoughts like in your head like a balloon. If you fill it up every single day with the exact same thoughts, the balloon gets bigger and bigger, but it is not floating. It's just kind of sinking down. The air has mass. It's heavy. And so it makes moving even more difficult because the air is, is it has weight to it. So if you keep those thoughts going, the head gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You don't go anywhere. And you might appear to be unpredictable, unemotional, detached. In time. In time. This is a test. This is probably a little bit more than a test, but it's it's supposed to teach you better communication, whether it lasts or it doesn't. This is open lab where you go in and work with other people on a project and they'll give you some of their ideas and attention and you give them the same and together two minds become sharper, clearer. Uh, more honest, self-aware. It's a challenge. It's a challenge, but it's about mastering the self. Knowing when to have self-control and ooh, understanding the nature of divine intervention. So it's two loner type energies who get an opportunity to learn how to talk to each other and how to talk and have sympathy and you already got that, right? But it's how to talk to each other, listen. It's an opportunity for two people. Okay. Oh, oh, that's rough. 
okay, what I, <laughs> as I'm talking, what comes through is a dog. It's, it's like two unsocialized pets, two unsocialized house pets, right? Two unsocialized house pets who lived in a decent house, but they don't get to play with other doggies. So it's not that they're morons or anything. They just aren't good at proper play with other pets. And it's two pets who've, who've had similar um, households. And again, they just don't they really never went to a playground and played with other doggies. And even when they did, it was awkward and very rare that they made those types of connections. But once they do, they have to learn how to be in each other's space or bite each other's heads off. One of the two. What you learn through each other, if you want, is to unfix some of the beliefs you are chained to being the loner um, type. You may come across as an indifferent, don't give a fuck type of energy. Well, in this connection, here's an opportunity to give a fuck. And not just give a fuck on the inside, but show it on the outside. Think of it as love practice. Think of it as compassion and understanding and good communication and good listening skill practice. Balance. Scorpio energy. And no, this isn't going to last forever. No, it's not. But um, you guys have an opportunity to come out of your shell with each other. You, have, you both have an opportunity to learn the art of communication. This person that you're talking about is like your mirror. They're like your mirror. It's like the mirror of you if you had tits and ass, is what I'm saying, right? <laughs> That Though you may not see that, or maybe you do, they are the opposite of you. And so both of you get an, opp an opportunity to interact with yourself from the opposite gender. And don't let that interrupt any of the freaky, naughty sex stuff, okay? <laughs> I know I probably just made it weird. Don't let it be. It's the mirror. It's who you would be if you were a chick. And not necessarily where you'd be forever in life, but where you would be at right now. So you're getting a circle back around the block on where you are as far as ego and thoughts of self and what you're attracting into your solar system. Yeah. This is uh, learning, okay? It's it's free learning, uh, which, you know, they give that to advanced students, right? Because if you were dumb dumb, you would just be going through the lesson. You wouldn't be asking why or the future. You'd be like, am I fucking tonight? Or, you know, it would be, it would be very, you know, dirt and grass. It wouldn't be trees and wind and rain and sunlight, you know, it would. Mm. Yep, there's your test. And this silver thing in the middle and the one is what I call a mirror. So it's crappy drawing, yes, don't laugh. But nonetheless, that person's your mirror. Are you gonna chase your mirror image and stay static? Or do you guys grow from each other? And even if the other person doesn't mature from the connection, you still have an opportunity to do so. Free will thing, you know. But it's an opportunity to learn how to better communicate so that when your person for life shows up, you're not a goofball about it, you know. Um, it's another like tap on the door of the ego and the subconscious, you know, the hey man, or no, you're conscious. It's Reminding you of what you're attracting and how to deal with it, how to communicate with what you are, what you're drawn to. <laughs> and 
And out of that is supposed to come growth, by the way, if you care. I don't know. Maybe you don't. It's getting logical about what you want in life. And sometimes we do need that. What you don't want to do, though, is get stuck in thinking about shit that ain't real. Making up in your mind who this person is. Um, overthinking why they're in your life. They're to teach you a lesson and remind you what you look like. The feminine version of the self. And even though you might be masculine energy and you might present to the world in masculine form, doesn't mean you ain't, you know, pushing feminine energy in, you know, the way you are treating others or the way you're interacting when it comes to love. You may want love, but you might be being too emotional about it and having maybe your list of do's and don'ts is so long, other people can't get close to you because they're tripping over that list. And so there may be some mental issues. There could be health issues going on. Um, there could be mental issues that have kind of become a health issue because you're overthinking everybody. You're overthinking everything. You're waiting on something that doesn't fucking exist. All or nothing. <laughs> that doesn't exist. That control tactic that it's got to be perfect. It's got to be exactly like this. What's going to happen is you're just going to have this fantasy until you're gone. You're just going to be like in this in utero. In utero. We know that word in pregnancy. You're, you're in the belly of creation, but you're never coming out of it to be a part of the creation that you are. You're not going to experience nothing. You're not, there's no growth. There's, no, there's limited growth. There's limited connections, right? And that's sitting in an illusion. And there's that test. You have to take it. And if you were in utero, in the belly of creation, and you figure the only way you're coming out of that belly <laughs> is if everything you want exactly in order is on the outside, guess what? Time passes, it gets dark in there, man. It gets dark in there. And again, like I said, limited connections because you're in utero, you're completely, you're in an embryonic sac. You know, like, one or two people can get close to you, the doctor and the mother. <laughs> so if, if that's where you're trying to keep it, cool. But if you're trying to experience others, you do have to come out of this framed illusion of what other people should be. Yeah. Because in that energy of what you want to be perfect, or you're overguessing people, you create, you call in fake people, fake energy, people who feel like they need to present you with a replica of what you want. But eventually, right, the real person shows up. And then you call them fake, fraudulent. They may cheat, they may do things that are fucked up ultimately down the line because that's who. That's either how they got pushed into a corner and they just reacted how they know or they were always that. But they wanted to present something to you because they knew you had high expectations. They wanted to be pleasing. That's damage data. Damage data on their end, damage data on your end. Also, so that passion and focus and drive to have things exactly as you want them creates illusion. It creates greed. It brings in people who are needy, who are vacuum cleaners with your energy over time. Oh boy, inner battles of the ego. Jesus Christ. I'm going to pull. You both need growth. Hello, though. This is a great opportunity to learn or push the issue of great communication. 
if you know it's not going to last, why not enjoy the time you're together and learn the art of good communication and connections? Because there's great things to know about each other, both of you. Great things that you can learn about yourself and how you come across to other people. You can help your person um, get better on how they come across to people too. Confusion in connections is just, oof. It's like fungus. It grows and it becomes a problem. But for a long time, people will step right over it like it's not a problem till it's too late. So you guys are having a, a cycle in life where you're learning about each other and you just happen to be crossing paths. You teach each other about this. And I do think both of you need the cosmic intervention. Mm-hmm. Because both of you may be approaching this with an energy of been there, done that, I know love and I blah, 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 but Okay, I hear the group White Snake. Damn. The song is Is This Love that I'm feeling. This must be love because it's really got a hold on me. Dang, that's an old song. It's got a hold on you, but you ain't fucking moving. Okay. Yes, you both need cosmic intervention on this one. Because one of y'all is great at avoiding, the other is great at stalling. And if you came together, you'd go nowhere. But if you came together, <laughs> if you both came together, it could be the stall out. It could be the stall out of the century. Or, or it can be a great path to learning and growing and changing and building foundations with people that can last a lot longer than an erection. Is what I'm saying. So let's see what your person's intention of it. Okay, they're next. Okay. Nope. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be asking that. What's um Okay, I'm not reading for your per I can't give your person advice, but let's get you some angel guide cards. I keep hearing all these different questions. <laughs> so we'll do a yes or no um, at the end, three questions. And I'm gonna ask if they could have you what what behavior would they like? What what experience would your person like to have with you at this time? I think your person's looking for a change of New experience, new way of thinking, new feelings, new feelings, new vibrations. Um, on a deeper level, they're looking for reason, purpose. Purpose in the connection with you, Claire. Let's clarify. Purpose. In the purpose, they may want to know if they can let their guard down with you. Will it be a peaceful experience with you? They are looking for a change in connections, love. They may be looking for a relationship. But very much in their heads. Like she's... Mm, very much in their head. And they may want to know if you're feeling them. Do you have connection with them? So they might be doing things to see 
if you give a fuck. Very emotional. Emotional, but guarded. Very guarded. Um, there may be a little hoop jumping or requested hoop jumping going on. Somebody may want to know if this person's willing to make moves. Connect. Um, somebody had some abandonment issues. Because this is all in the mind. And it feels like reassurances are not being given. Or your person isn't... Maybe you think you're giving them assurances. Or maybe you think you're giving them interest at a level that is comfortable for them. Or reliable for them. But it's not. Okay? It's not. Yeah, JD, you might be, you may not be as great at the communication and feelings and listening as you may think, or maybe you don't think that you're great at the communication at all. It's old, it's old, bad data. Not being clear or being, uh, giving, giving your feelings or interest in parts. Mm. and leaving the rest of the puzzle for somebody to figure out. And so it looks like blockages. It looks like limited interest. It looks like maybe, but maybe not. It looks and sounds like I don't give a fuck, really. But, you know, I care, but... <laughs> it just looks, it, it draws in... A lot more questions than gives answers. Your energy. That's what comes out. So the theme of the situation is self-esteem. It is not a problem, though. It's not a problem at this time, but it is a harmful matter. It is a harmful matter because it's old childhood wound data. It's fear of giving too much to somebody who thinks it's funny. I don't know why I got it that way. Um, so maybe you, I'm not going to dig any further in that. What? What? Clarify the thing. Yeah, somebody, somebody is either used to it or you are giving off the energy of limited value when it comes to communication or expression of feelings. Somebody may be coming across as so focused on themselves that the connection can be seen as a waste of time or influenced by cheating. Maybe somebody feels like they're one of many or thinks that, you know, it. people don't need to see it. Some people could just think it and that's enough. Wow. Self-esteem comes out again. So if you guys have done the do, you know, boom, chicka, wow, wow, somebody might feel like, your person might be feeling like it was just that for you or oh, that's all the value is mm. and so what they may have considered or what could have been a blessing they're looking at as a harsh lesson or that will be the energy in time and then you go into enemy mode they hate your guts they move on or you hate their behavior towards you their energy towards you and move on but if there is love, uh, it's not being expressed because that needs to be dealt with. 
someone may want something more. I'm not saying who, you or your person. Somebody wants more, wants to talk about it, would like to try it. And then the other person ain't saying nothing at all. And holding the truest version of themselves secret or somebody's concerned about falling head over heels because of the secrets that they have. Somebody may have some issues that they have to grow out of. Maturity, um, could be drug habits, or they just could be addicted to immature behavior. Thoughtlessness. So yeah, somebody's on, okay. So you or your person has Okay, the word that was coming out is addiction. Mm. Somebody may have an addiction to a repetitive cycle that needs to be broken. Now, I'm not saying it's drugs. I'm not saying it's alcohol. It could really just be um, a mental imbalance or a bad way of thinking or a fatalistic way of thinking. They may think, you know, everybody's going to use or abuse. Hey, your person may have some, may have a glitch with thinking everybody's in their life for a specific single reason. And I don't know how much you've talked about an ex or how much they know about your past loves, but that's a fear factor too. Uh, perhaps they didn't get a clear answer on how you and your ex are, how that ended or the connect. Is there still a connection of some sort? Do y'all like, you may not think it's a connection, but maybe to your new person, it sounds like a connection. It just sounds like not not clear. Um, it sounds like confusion about somebody's ex. And somebody's like not being upfront about it. It's felt. I heard dress to impress. First time, there's only one, wait, what's the saying? You only get one chance to make a first impression. So while you are in the impression, impression stage, it does feel like grace and clarity need to be a thing. Because there's some belief that there's an outer influence that's affecting this connection, whether it's alcohol or behavior or a whole secret person that's still in the picture. Mm. There's that fear. Look what's at the bottom. Um, why am I showing it that way? Talk more. Just a couple of cards. What will your thoughts be about your person in six months? If everything stays exactly as it is, what will your thoughts be about your person in six months? There will still be some blockages. If nothing changes and y'all keep functioning exactly as you are, there's blocked feelings. There's lack. There's no awareness. Somebody stays in the mode of just wanting one thing. Somebody feels like they know that and the cycles cross. No growth. 
and somebody goes off on their spiritual journey and what happens to the other? There's the end, seven and three, jeez. So one goes off on their spiritual journey from whatever outcome. I heard maybe Dark Night of the Soul dated to, um, one goes on their spiritual journey and the other becomes better at sex and lusty affairs. Lying, acting, stuck in their head. Wow, one goes off on the spiritual journey, the other becomes a better dog. Um, I'm not saying who does what. So I ain't pointing fingers at nothing. So you have an opportunity to have great communication, learn it, think about it. Think about it as lab, open lab. Where you learn how to listen better and and talk and speak your mind even if it's going to make someone not happy at least you're giving clarity so that nobody gets stuck but it does feel like mirror image y'all help each other and then you're better for the next situation next person okay uh let's do your three questions So you can pause the video if you need to focus on your question. I will split the deck three ways. Give you a chance to think about each question. One, two, and three. So focus on your first question. That's reverse. So it's a yes, but requires um, stability, requires structure, making things solid, stable, coming out of a standstill, if you will. Can be love, um, the opposite of love, changing love. Right? Okay, let's move on from that. <laughs> let's move on from that. But your answer is yes. I'll put that back. Did you, okay, um, number two. Deck two, deck two. Mm. Focus on your question. Whatever this question is, you already know the answer to it. You ain't something or you haven't. Okay, I was starting off with you. You ain't grown. You ain't matured. Um, it's still too much focus on certain regions. There's loss here. Somebody doesn't know that there's loss. No count on the blessings. Let's see what else is here. The answer is ultimately, though, a yes uh, with regards to options. And growth. Mm. But there's challenges here galore. I also get the energy of yes, there's something that, it, yes to your question, but it, whatever it is, it loses value over time because of growth or somebody not growing. Let's go on to three. Hmm. Ooh, I'm also looking at this. Options lights up a little bit more for me. Um, so you may have lots of options you don't know about or you're not giving attention to. Whatever it is, though, you already know the answer to it. Moving on to <laughs> question three. Illusions. Stop asking. No growth. And time, intention, support.
you correct? Whatever your question was here, it's it feels like the energy of misunderstanding. It feels like more than one person misunderstanding. And okay, it feels like two people having misunderstood thoughts, but thinking that they're the only one having the misunderstood thought. Two people wasting time. Anyways, communication is a thing here. It really is. It feels like the difference between all and nothing or the all that could have been that drips, slow drips to nothingness. And all because of not good enough communication. Yeah, neat growth. All right, I hope this reading was helpful. Uh, if you if you listened and this wasn't your reading, <laughs> maybe it helped you too. I don't fucking know. We'll see. Um, ooh, I'm sorry. Next action going forward, JD. through that one yourself but so it's data you may not be aware of or have been ignoring but if you care about the connection you do need to help it along a bit more because it may be looking like you're choosing to turn your back to certain elements or confusion okay so be aware of that maybe it's maybe a date is needed or some fun getting to know your person um something that's that goes further than the way y'all have been communicating. Uh, a little romance. I don't know. Something like that. But it does feel like an opportunity, you know, opportunities await you to learn the art of listening and connecting. With, especially if it's mirror data. It's like talking to yourself in just a different form. So get to know you and get to know a version of yourself and see how other people will experience that. <laughs> I'm sure you get where I'm going with all this data. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. And remember that you are well and you're welcome. Bye.